All right, guys. So today's video is about how to reset your Orimo MiFi in three ways. Without wasting much of a time, let's get down to business. So the first way here is to reset it with the router itself. Now, how do you do that? You have to open this guy up. You use the buckle point here. That is, you open it up with something like a plastic card or something like that so when you open it up like this then you are going to locate the reset hole you can see the word reset on it here so there is a hole beside it not this one this one now you get a pin ejector here or you can get a broom if you don't have a sim ejector too you can get a broom instead and put it into that reset hole and press hold it for four seconds and it's going to reset your router is as easy as that and the next one is to do it via the translink app you can go to your translink app and select the me option down here when you select the me option you are going to see some option here select the restore default setting like this and it's going to ask you for confirmation so select ok and it will reset your router for you and the third step is to use the web browser route now you go to your google chrome or whatever browser you are using and type in 192.168.188.1 and it's going to bring you to this orimo 4g router website now you have to log in with your password if you have changed it the default password is admin which i've just input then you log in and it's going to show you the user interface like this now you go to the advanced settings select the advanced settings and you scroll to the side that is the left hand side and you are going to see these options there now scroll down to others and select others is going to bring out some settings like this now scroll to the right hand side you are going to see some options there like reset device which you can see here and reset factory settings so when you select reset factory setting it's going to show you a prompt to confirm it and when you select yes is going to reset your Orimo Wi-Fi to the factory reset. So that is pretty much how to do it. If you have any issue, please drop it down there in the comment section and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Peace.